This video is about using the monostable timing equation and we should note that it only applies to the 5 by 5 monostable which is shown in this circuit here. So our first example we're asked to use a 47 kilo ohm resistor and a 220 microfarad capacitor and find out what the value of T is. So a couple of notes to start with. K is equivalent to 10 to the 3 which we can sometimes write as a thousand and micro is equivalent to 10 to the minus 6 which we sometimes write as one millionth but I'm going to concentrate on using these forms of the maths because it's more useful so we start off by writing our equation down with the values in 1.1 times by 47 times 10 to the 3 multiplied by 220 times 10 to the minus 6 now we get our Windows calculator and we see if we can actually do this e equation. So we take our 1.1, multiply it by 47, we use the exponent function, I've just pressed there, 10 to the 3, multiplied by 220, exponent minus 6 equals, and we get an answer of 11.374. But I'm not going to write 11.374 because that's too precise, given our components are only um, precise to 5%. So I'm going to write 11.4 seconds, and that's the time period of this monostable. Let's try another example. Here's the second problem. It's very similar to the first in that we have a resistor value and a capacitor value, and we're asked to find the time. So in exactly the same way, we go T equals 1.1 write in our component values, 1 times 10 to the 3, which is my 1 kilo ohm, multiplied by 6.8 times 10 to the minus 6, which is my 6.8 microfarad capacitor. I go T equals, and I find my Windows calculator. And this time I go 1.1 multiplied by 1 exponent 3, multiplied by 6.8 exponent minus 6 equals, and I get quite a small number, so I'll write that down, 0 0.0075, but that's not a particularly convenient way of writing our time, it'd be convenient to put some units on, so what we're going to do is go back 1, 2, 3 spaces, which is equivalent to uh, taking a thousandth, and we're going to write our time as 7.5, not seconds, but milliseconds. In our next example, we've turned things around a bit because we're being asked to find the value of R. This is probably a more realistic scenario. The time will come from our specifications of what we want to achieve. Our capacitor value is just chosen almost arbitrarily, depending on what's available. So we have to find a suitable value of R to give us our uh, um, time period. So let's write the equation down and then rearrange it. Now I always use brackets because it saves making mistakes with the calculator, dividing instead of multiplying and multiplying instead of dividing. So let's get our Windows calculator and we put in the time, which is 20. We divide by, open brackets, 1.1 multiplied by the capacitor value we have, which is 220 exponent minus 6. We close the brackets and we press equals and we get a resistor value which has a very, very large number of digits which we're not going to write down. So we go R equals and we'll just take the first two significant figures. So that's 83 and there's three more numbers before decimal place. So that's 83,000 ohms and I'm actually going to use 82, and instead of writing 1,000 ohms, I'll write kilo ohms, because 82 kilo ohms is an E24 standard resistor, so it's one that I have available to me. Let's just see what I did there. I took 82644 point something or other, and what I did is I certainly ignored all the decimal places to start with, so we'll get rid of them. I then realized that there's no point being precise to five significant figures, so I just wrote 8, 
the two rounds to three, so three and make the rest zeros, and that's my answer, which I used down here. Let's see if there's one more problem, which there is. So what we've got this time, we have to find C, the capacitor value. We've chosen to use R is 4K7, and we've got our time is 0.4 seconds. Just a note before we carry on, what does R equals 4K7 mean? Well, 4K7 is equivalent to 4.7 times 10 to the 3. 4.7 kilo ohms, which is 4,700 ohms. So this 4K7 is a shorthand way of writing 4,700 ohms. So let's put it into our equation. So we've got T equals 1.1 times R times C. So we want to find C, so rearrange C equals T divided by brackets again. This time the R's on the bottom. I always use the brackets and so should you. So we'll find our Windows calculator. We'll cancel that big number off there and we'll go C equals 0.4, which is our time period we're trying to achieve, divided by, open brackets, 1.1 multiplied by, and then the resistor value which we happen to have, which is 4.7 times 10 to the 3, close brackets, equals, and I get an answer which is, again, a very long number. So I'll just write down the first two significant figures, 7.7 .7 times 10 to the minus 5, farads and we could leave it there but we don't really talk about capacity in terms of farads so I would write that as C equals 77 microfarads because a micro is 10 to the minus 6 and that isn't very close to a standard value so I'd have to make that from two or three capacitors combined together.